Meow. Sit you right over here. Homies of Earth, how the heck are y'all doing? How your mama doing? How your papa them doing? You gonna tell them I said, what's up? Yo, I have a treat for y'all today. Well, it's a treat for me, but I'm sharing it with y'all. We've got three figures from the movie Black Adam. Now, I know these have been out for some time. However, I wanted to wait until I saw that movie and decided whether I like it or not because if I didn't like the movie, I wasn't gonna waste my time uh, getting these figures because it would just be a reminder of how I wasted my money on tickets and popcorn and Whoppers and peanut M&Ms and a $12 soda. What do y'all get at the theaters? Comment below. But we've got the three characters that I really enjoyed in that movie. Cyclone and Adam Smasher were cool too, but I rather enjoyed uh, Dr. Fate, Hawkman, and the champion of Kondok. Kondok, Kondok? Am I saying that right? So nothing really new with these besides the fact that they're just a new figure. Same as many others from McFarlane, they're gonna have the 22 points of articulation. Nothing really new there, but we'll go over it. Uh, so you've got the um, you've got the flexing, the flexing of the arm there. You've got the double jointed elbow there for maximum posability. Ugh. Black Adam only came with one set of hands. He doesn't really use weapons. He just throws people at missiles. So, you know, he didn't need to be able to hold anything. So he's got the um, uh, relaxed, the relaxed hand there. Perhaps a nice, you know, a good, a good back hand from Black Adam. I got the one with uh, the cloak. I think this is the dopest looking of the two. Um, although I do like the other one uh, without the cloak. Um, the only thing mm, with this one is like right when we got it, uh, Kate actually opened this one. Right when we got it, uh, his head popped right off. I don't know if that is specific to this one that we got or if this is a common issue uh, with all of them uh, that have the cloak. I can see there being a slight issue because there's a lot of, because of the cloak, the hood of the cloak, uh, there's a lot of bunching around the neck. So if you try to articulate that head, if you try to turn it and, um, you know, tilt it back and forward, uh, I can see pressure being put on that ball and joint that would cause the head to pop off. However, we're not going to be doing a lot of that with this one, so I'm not worried about it. His left arm has some of the cloak draped over it, the shoulder, so that may restrict some of that posability. We're not gonna be um, uh, posing and flexing and rotating that much with this one. We're just gonna put it in a nice cool pose and throw him up on the shelf with, uh, with some other friends. The detail of his suit is pretty dang cool, yo. Uh, this is all textured, a uh, matte finish. Love that Thunderbolt on the chest, the shin armor and boots, and the cloak. So this is a softer rubber, not as thin as other um, as other capes you may find on other figures, perhaps like what we might find on Dr. Fate's cape, and we'll see that in a couple minutes. But it's nice. It's 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 frumpled. It's thick. Uh, it hangs well. The only place I disagree with this figure in particular is with what came in the box. So very. Um, very common items, nothing very new that comes in the box. Uh, so you are going to get the card with them with the um, with the with the sort of animated imagery, which is cool. That's all right. And and it is actually consistent with all three of these figures that we got. I've seen in uh, some other sets, one or two might be like an animated comic style drawn graphic in the back and then you know, in that same set, have something from like the live action movie, an image from the live action movie. And that is inconsistent and that that bothers my brain. And the part that I disagree with in the box is just the plain stand, which is fine. 
But I feel like Black Adam floated around in that movie so much <laughs> that I feel like almost all of the um, versions of this figure that came out should have come with the uh, the levitating stand option like Dr. Faith or my Superman figure came with that as well, a levitating one. Man, Black Adam floated everywhere in that movie. I Look, if he had a little scene where he had to run to the bathroom or something, he probably would have like levitated and floated to the bathroom. So maybe it shouldn't have come with uh, just the stand, but the levitating stand that gives you the option to use the regular stand or the levitation feature on it. But that's really it. If you have this one with the with the cloak, comment below and let me know, did your head pop off? Because if that's the case with a lot of these cloaked figures, then that's another part that I don't I don't really like. You've got your leg joints. You know what I'm saying? My man, my man can do my man can do some splits. He's not coming forward. His leg isn't coming forward that that far. Yeah, he's kind of, he's kind of restricted there, man. And I don't want to I don't want to push it too far cuz, you know, if his head's popping off, I'm sure that leg is coming off of there too. But the knees are also going to have the double jointed joint once again. You know, so he can get that thigh stretch in, you know what I mean? Uh before before going on that run, you know, he can get that he can get that thigh stretch in. That's important. Stretch those quads. Ankle joint, he's going forward, forward and back. That bad boy's gonna spin all the way around for you. Same with the hands. That is going, let's see. Uh so it is gonna come all the way in. He's not going that far out, um, probably because of that armor that's on the outside of the hand. So you're not gonna get much backwards flex on that joint. You're gonna go about right there and that's it. And then even for the toes, if you're trying to um, perhaps pose him in a, in a lunging pose or a, or a kneeling, taking one knee pose or something, um, you can get that, that bend in that toe there. And then you've got uh, two flexing points in the torso, the uh, upper torso, and then you've got it, you've got a little bit in the waist, as you can see there. So that's gonna be it for the champion. I'm gonna get him posed up and set in the back and we're gonna move on to Hawk Man. Hawk Man, Hawk Man. This is Hawk Man and I think Hawk Man is dope. I really enjoyed his character in the movie. I enjoy his character in the comics. And this is this is him. Same points of articulation, uh, double joints in the knee, double joints in the elbows, same posability in the ankles and feet. Hawkman only came with one set of hands. One hand's got this armor on it and that is very cool. From the outside, it kind of looks like he's doing this. <laughs> Both hands are grabby hands so you can pose him with his mace that you also get in the box, his mace. Now, let me just take this opportunity to share my disappointment in this thing. Um, I love the design of it. I like how it looks. However, it's silver, y'all. Thing's supposed to be gold. This is silver. And it doesn't match anything. Nothing. Not a nah, nada. So that's really the only thing I think they could have done a little bit better on with this one is painting that mace gold. Nonetheless, Hawkman is dope, man. I will show you with him, unlike Black Adam, we've got a lot of articulation in his head. So another ball and socket joint, and you can get a lot of motion. Uh-oh, oh, I thought I popped his head off. Shoot, out here losing your head. I love that helmet. I love how far those wings flare back. This is just crazy. The shoulder armor, the armor on the left forearm. Now this armor on the shoulder may restrict some of his range of motion, same as the cloak with Black Adam. Uh, so you may not get him, you know, raising his hand all the way up like he's got a question in class, but um, I mean, he can definitely punch. His armor strapping is gonna go from his shoulder armor across the chest, it's gonna Y out, it's gonna come across to um, the uh, smaller armor on the right shoulder and then go around the torso, around the back. And that brings us to the connection points for the most exciting part and probably the most important part of Hawkman and that's the wings. So as you saw him for the last couple minutes is how he comes out of the box. The wings are not attached. You put those on and it's just a press fit. You're just pressing them in 
and that's how they look. And it is doggone majestic. Love that, look at those. Now they're not gonna open all the way up, but there is some adjustability, some flexibility in there. You're only gonna be able to take them up so far because of the wings on his helmet. I tried to um, pose him uh, with the wings kind of out a little bit further and I ran into that problem. But this is a really, really good looking figure and I'm loving it. I just, I don't know. Some, somebody send me some gold paint so I can fix this mace, man. Cause that, 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 that is, it's a, it's a bit of an eyesore, but check this out, man. They done, they done good. It would have been really cool if you, in addition to the mace, got the, um, uh, the ax that we saw in the, in the movies. But tell me what y'all think. This is probably my favorite one of the set. Uh, but you know, tell me how y'all feel. All right, so uh, you are free. You are free, sir. Free at last. Free at last, Dr. Fate. You are. So in, in his box, in similar fashion, you're gonna get a stand and a card, and that's it. That's his uh, flight or levitation stand and his card. All right, so same as the other two Dr. Fates got. Nice little card there. I don't even know what I'm gonna do with these cards. What do y'all do with these cards? Do, do, you, do you collect them? Do you put them in little, you know, baseball card sleeves or sheets or anything like that? Comment below, let me know what y'all, what y'all do with them. Cause I still have Superman and um, Martian Manhunter. I got a couple other ones. I just don't know what to do with them. That's it? It was just that one? Oh, it was just that one. Oh no, right out of the box, yo. Oh, that is not cool. It's cracked, that uh, that socket is cracked. This is the one that we got from Target, so <laughs> guess what? Dr. Fate, Dr. Fate's leg met its fate fresh out of the box, and this is going back. All right, yeah, that's disappointing. But uh, we can review the leg. <laughs> We've got the uh, double jointed knee for maximum posability. Uh, that <laughs> foot's gonna spin all the way around for you. You've got the bendy flexy ankle with the bendy flexy toes. Now for the rest of his body. Okay, what's going on back there? All right, you guys, you guys behave. Hawk man passing out. Let's keep it together. Let's keep it together back there. Okay, so uh, just for the sake of the rest of this video, um, I put his leg back on, but I can already tell that it wants to pop back out. So right after this video, this is going back to the stow and hopefully they have another one. So this is Mr. Fate. Check him out. And this is the first time I am laying hands on this. So we are learning together. So we're looking at the head, looking left and right, just fine. Even all the way around. Maybe you don't want to do that. Uh, up and down isn't, there's not much going on right there. He's got some of his uh, armor or whatever uh, on his shoulders. So that may restrict, it looks like it is kind of restricting some of his range of motion, but you probably don't even, you, you, you probably don't need that much. I mean, you're not gonna have Dr. Fate doing jumping jacks or anything like that. So we've got double jointed elbows again for Max. No, I'm not even gonna say it again. His suit, the texture, in his suit, check that out. I like that. You can even see the onk pattern in there. We've got a very soft uh, rubber cape that shouldn't get in the way of any posing that you're trying to achieve. And this is just a beautiful figure, y'all. What do you think? Um, another upper torso point of articulation. You might have a little bit in that waist so he can shake his bonbon. Let's see. All right, he's gonna shake his bonbon just a little bit. You see that? His hips don't lie. <laughs> look at that, and look at, 
Look at how I have his arms too. He looks like he's. But this is just nice, man. The detail that we have in the boots here, top of the boots, and even in the front kind of shin area, we've got the texture in the back and his cape as well. Well done on this one, design wise, but putting it together, man, somebody messed that leg up, y'all. Again, in the box, we've got the flying or levitating stand so you can get him floating up above all them other suckers. And there we have him in the flying stand. All three of these are really, really cool. I can't wait to get these all posed up and have them displayed. Okay, homies, that's going to be it for these three today. Thank you so much for hanging out with us and checking out these new additions to our collection. If you found this informative, if you found it helpful, if you had a good time, if you're gonna go and get one of these, let me know and definitely hit like and do subscribe to the Dirt Martians. And remember, we love you. And so does Master Chief. Ah!